paint. We're going to do a quick experiment with you on showing you the importance of the resin but the pigment volume concentration. Sounds kind of technical and it's not. It's to do with the ingredients in the paint and how the manufacturer balances them off. And if you make the paint a little bit cheaper and put in too many extenders, how your paint is more brittle. Also how the resin type will influence your purchasing decisions. There are so many resin types, epoxy, polyurethane, acrylic, latex, alkyd, loads of them. But they all are on this huge scale of like low down quality to utmost quality. Like epoxies, epoxy is officially the toughest resin. There are some new ones coming out there, but epoxy in general terms, if you go into a hardware store, if you get an epoxy, it's usually the toughest. However, there are really cheap brands or products that are making epoxies with too many extenders and it's too friable. It's going to crack and flake in a few years. So it's difficult to gauge your product based on its resin type. And also each resin type brings something different to the market. While epoxies are super tough, they're also super brittle. They don't have the elasticity and the flexibility that certain jobs will require. So bear that in mind, no resins are really superior to each other. It just is in terms of what job are you doing. Also, like some big brands would use a resin for a product and they might have it in a cheaper solution of a product. And that might then bring on a, a, a name for that product resin being a cheaper resin when in fact there are other brands producing that resin in a really high-end way and it will have 10,000 scrubs which is comparable if not exceeding most other resins in the same product category. I've made that quite long worded, bear with me. I'll just very quickly show you the ingredients of the paint so that you know what we're talking about when we go in next door and do the exciting stuff and it does get really exciting, promise. So your paint can really briefly, there's your paint can, what's it made up of? We've done this one a few times before. There's the paint can, you're talking resin. You're, so let, here's your resin. You're talking solvent. People think solvent, they think of like white spirits, butyl acetate, xylene and all those. But solvent is water as well. That's the, 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 the mass of liquid that's gone in to create the product and dilute it. So you can have it as water or actual solvent, like solvent based, like what we'd say. So here's my blue one and here is your solvent. So be it water or chemicals. Um, you also have then your pigment. So your pigment, um, pigment, that's a, a critical one. That doesn't just relate to the colorant. It does relate to the really good things like the colorant and brings you your color fastness and your opacity and your coverage. But it also relates to all the cheap extenders, like your cheap, like Chinese chalks and clays and fillers and calcium carbonate. They're all in that group. So if you buy, if you buy a cheap, watered down products you're going to have a little bit of resin a lot of solvent but a lot of extenders they can't give you a bucket of water it has to feel thick and it'll be thickened by all those extenders that brings me on to the exciting experiment next door which deals with the pigment volume concentration pvc it's a critical ratio and it tells you like for example, some ceiling paints might have a 70% PVC pigment volume concentration. So 70% pigment to the volume of paint in the can, which means, like it is in the case of most ceiling paints, water, loads of chalks and a really little tinsy bit of resin. Bear in mind, what you're buying is the resin. Solvent is just to flow it out and get it onto the surface. The resin gives you the washability, scrubability, durability, everything. So ceiling paint, it's cheap, it's cheerful. By the way, super white from Ticarilla is wipeable. I think it's slightly washable. Most ceiling paints are not. The point I'm making there is they've put in a, a little bit of more resin and a better quality resin. So it brings more to the table. But usually your cheapest kind of paint will be ceiling paint. You're not going at it. It's watered down. There's chalks and talc kind of ingredients, calcium carbonate, all that kind of stuff in there. The good stuff then, the resin. The resin used in Ticarilla's emulsions not all of them, but the Optiva range that we mainly stock is a latex. So some other cheaper brands have stuff made of the latex as well. And some painters would associate that with a cheaper brand when in fact it's got over 10,000 scrubs, most of the products in the Optiva range. So they'd be way ahead of a lot of the acrylics and alkyd emulsions that are out on the market. But because one brand might make their cheaper version in that resin and their dearer version in another resin, it can get a different name. So I want to show you today why latex was a great choice for the resin that you bought. And briefly, I don't know if you can see over here my drawing of a tree. So this Havia Bratlinensis, I can't pronounce that tree. Um, 
that's the tree that uh, we get the ingredients to make latex and rubber from. So the same tree we make rubber from and forget rubber on the tires of your car, super durable, super flexible. It can take, uh, it can take a pounding and it can take, um, it can take a lot more movement and flex than other, uh, other products can. And so can your latex. That's what we're going to show you in the shop. Your latex has a lot more elasticity to it. So see here, latex is an elastomer, which is an elastomer then is a polymer with viscoelasticity, which is viscosity and elasticity. It's basically deadly. Are there really cheap crap latexes in the market? Yes, there are. Are there really cheap crappy epoxies, polyurethanes, alkyds? There are. You can't base your product decision on the resin type, but you can base it on what the person has told you on the can. Is that a wipeable, a washable, or a scrubbable product? Loads of paints aren't wipeable, loads of paints aren't washable, and loads aren't scrubbable. Your Optiva 35720 is washable, wipeable, and scrubbable. They're super durable, and they're latex, so they have that additional benefit of the elasticity, which I will show you now in the shop. Are we excited? We are. properties of your latex is that it's an elastomeric so it's got really good flexibility and durability so see there I've popped the balloon but the paint can cope with that level of flex which is a lot of flex and it hasn't cracked it hasn't tore is tore a word Aaron? torn torn it hasn't torn <laughs> okay we won't do it again because the balloon is popped <laughs> and here we have a generic brand okay you can hear her crinkling already, some bits cracking. So I'll scrunch this one, see the way I've scrunched them up. Look. It can't cope at all with any flex or movement. So if you have a crack in your wall and it's a movement crack, you know what's gonna to happen to the paint. It'll start coming off and cracks and pressure. Even when I look, even if I do a big tear, See how well it copes with that. Do a big tear on this one. We've done it on. We've done it on some paper as well. So I'll just crack this up in my hand. Too much. I think I pull it back. Again, all little flaky bits coming off it. And then this one here. But it even feels different, you can feel no crunch. It's like squeezing up a little elastic. And Jack has a glove for me. No, he's gone. Jack's gone. There you go, look at that. Ah, heavens above. Jesus is right, Gillian. Yeah. Look at the difference. <laughs> look at that's just totally brittle. And the elasticity of that. Yeah. So see here again, just the, the strength of this. Look at it. And then look at this side. Get gloves in as well, and they're not in any way dry yet, so I can't show you yet, but already, see this part is dry. Again, you can just see there's great elasticity, great bend, great durability, and see here in this one already, it just feels more like a cast. See here already, you can't put any pressure on it at all, or it starts to crack and flake. Look at that, and see this one here, again, it's just like your rubber glove. So don't take this as meaning latexes are the best resin and buy latex paint because there are loads of really cheap latexes out there that you just wipe and they come off the wall. The strength of, an, of a latex is that its elasticity is, is quite a strong property in it compared to other resins. However, you also want one that's durable. The Optivas are wipeable, washable, scrubbable, and there are loads of cheap latexes. Similarly with acrylics, alkyds, epoxies, there are really cheap ones that won't perform for you, and there are high performing ones. So this is just an example of one of the good properties of latex paint, is that it's super elastic and super durable. <laughs>